Hello, 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 and welcome to Woman to Woman with Lady Aisha Fisher. I am so honored and excited to have you join me on today. Listen, if you haven't done so already, I invite you to come on in the room. Join our Facebook group um, where you will receive real talk, real truth, real love, real wisdom, real help, and real transformation. I also invite you to join us on YouTube. Go ahead and like and subscribe, like and subscribe so you can stay connected to all God is doing through woman to woman uh, to help you with your holistic self care. Amen. Now let's dive on into what you came for today. All right, all right. We are back again for some tea. We are going to turn this living water of God's word into an opportunity to turn errors around. T-E-A, turn errors around. Listen, I want to start this uh, go round by saying, Listen, it does not bring me joy. <laughs> I promise you, it does not bring me joy to have to talk about errors that are reality, um, that have happened, that are real, um, and that negatively affect the body of Christ and the kingdom of God. It does not bring me joy. But here's the thing. I don't get to choose... <laughs> what God tells me to do and how he tells me to do it. So I would pray that the people who are spiritually blind and cannot receive the truth of what I'm saying would take that into consideration. But if you don't, <laughs> I'm still going to do what God told me to do and say what God told me to say. And right now we are going to pray. Father, I thank you. For you are so worthy of all glory, honor, and praise. I thank you for your love and your kindness, your grace and your mercy, for loving me in spite of me, for fearfully and wonderfully creating me in your image to do great things for your kingdom. I thank you for another opportunity to do just that. I thank you for um, these airwaves and this internet and technology and social media and all the realms to get your good news throughout the earth. And there is good news, even in error, <laughs> there is good news. The good news is there is hope. There is the ability to repent. The forgiveness is available. And there's opportunity to turn the error around and to seek your face and to pursue you and to glorify you and to have a testimony that glorifies you. Oh God, so have your way in the midst of us during our time together here. And may you be glorified in all that is said and done. Amen, amen, amen. Glory to God. Glory to God. All right. So um, all of this started <laughs> three months ago. Okay, three months ago um, when uh, Jamila Gooden came to my acknowledgement um, was put in my face about her behavior and her cussing as a pastor. And so I've already did a video on that. This is what it looks like. Go on to this, um, the YouTube page and watch it if you have not done so already. And um, if you have or after you do, please share it into your realm of influence because this one here is where I teach why it is not okay to have that behavior. OK, so I, I teach this. This this one here is for teaching. And I, I pull out scripture after scripture and I show you in the word of God why that's not OK. All right. Now, after that first encounter that I was aware of. There was no remorse for her behavior. Right. And so I talked about this in one of the videos. She came on and she boasted. She mocked. Um that behavior and 1.9 thousand over 1.9 thousand. Let me take this grab off this, uh, this um, ticker over 1.9 thought it was a laughing matter. All right. And because of that, because of that, that led um, 
to the next episode, which just happened a few days ago on Sunday. Today is Thursday. So this, this episode here happened on Sunday because there was no remorse. There was an escalation from the cussing in the privacy of her home to prep cussing um, in the pulpit. And so this video here discusses a lifestyle. Now you have shown us now this is your lifestyle. And you have also shown us that you have no um, reverence for the things of God. And I talk about how her behavior was a desecration of the sacred and holy place where God is supposed to be worshiped. And so if you have not seen that one, I encourage you to, to, to watch it and then um, share it into your realm of influence. Okay. I'm not going over, back over old stuff. Not It's not old, but I'm not going over stuff I don't already, already, I don't already just, uh, handled and dealt with. Y'all Y'all go back and watch it. All right. Now, this next one here, after I was doing the one about desecration, it, ca it, it came to me like you cannot be in your right mind <laughs> and willfully and in intentionally desecrate anything that has to do with God. You can't be in your right mind and do it. And so in this video here, here's what it looks like. Go on the page. It talks about mental illness and spiritual illness and how it is real and how it is being manifested through the both of them, not just one the both of them and this video explains why it's the both of them okay so go back and watch it and pray for them um and then also share this into your realm of influence see people we need to be aware of what's going on a lot of times we don't have the boldness to say it but all you got to do is share let somebody else get the word out let somebody else sound the alarm and you still get reward for that amen um and then oh i started it over oh my goodness that's not what I wanted to do. Here we go. Let's go back. All right. Let this play out. And we're going to get to this next one. I'm sorry. I'm using some new technology here. <clears throat> and so bear with me as I get the hang of it. All right. And so this one here, after that happened on Sunday, you see this says Sunday, right at 526. So after she desecrated... <laughs> Uh, the things of God, there was no remorse, just like there was no remorse the last time when she did it from the comfort of her home. Now there's still no remorse and she gets out of church and post, I show did it M with the continued mockery, right? It, it, we got to keep going. Okay. And then after that wakes up the next morning, this is Monday, <laughs> you, wakes up the next morning still in in, in 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 action i said what i said no remorse you woke up the next morning with that same arrogance and in and, and posture and stance okay and so here's the scary part and what i'm going to talk about today this is what i'm going to talk about today so in those videos that I already did, she, I showed her original content where it's where, where she's saying, I know I got to get to Cleveland. I know I got to get to Cleveland. Now, I didn't know what was she was referring to, but I, it, it has been made clear. <laughs> OK, this is what she had to get to Cleveland to do. And what these photos here show is that the mockery continues so much so that she felt comfortable amongst the highest ranking, some of the highest ranking, because this is a bishop's council, not apostles, or I don't know, however you want to rank them, it don't matter, amongst five-fold leadership, okay, amongst five-fold leadership, because they're, they're, they're all important. She felt comfortable enough to take cheesy, smiley pictures with these people, okay? Not only not only did she feel comfortable enough, but those people, these are bishops, people in high ranking leadership positions are smiley, are, are smiley, cheesy, all teeth with her as well. That's a problem. That's a problem. Okay. And so today we're talking about accountability. Let's, let's, let's get into it. Okay. It is what it is. All right. And so what you got to, what you have to keep in mind here is that she showed us who she was and she she said who she was she said i'm 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 a, I'm a brooklyn chick i'm from the streets you know 
with with arrogance and attitude and, and hood and hood in the in in her voice, <laughs> right? With street with the street mentality in her voice. And so what you have to understand is what's being done now with all these pictures and all these posting is 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 I'm putting it in your face. She's saying, look, yeah, I said what I said and I'm still in the room. That's what this picture says right here. I said what I said. I sure did say what I said and I'm still in the room. I'm in the room with the bishops and the high ranking leadership. That's what this picture is saying. Y'all better open your spiritual eyes. You better open them. OK, you, you have to you have to understand who, who you're dealing with. She showed us right now. What you have here is people in the meeting. Smiley face. Smiley face. Now, I, we, we, we maybe I'm going to extend some grace and say maybe they didn't know what happened on Sunday. <laughs> I'm going to extend some 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 grace and say, well, maybe they didn't know. But if they did. This right here, that's a problem. Okay, let's go to the next one. Let's go to the next one right here. What you know what she's saying in this one? They got my back. You 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 got to understand the mentality of what you're dealing with, of who you're dealing with. She's saying they got my back. They got my back. Right? Maybe again, maybe they don't know. Maybe they didn't know. Maybe they didn't. They didn't. They weren't, weren't made aware of what's going on. But if they did. If they were aware, then that's a problem. Okay. This is, she's posting this. She's saying, I, I, I said what I said. I did what I did. Do you see it? She's saying, I did that and I'm still here. I did that and I'm still here. Okay. And so what we're going to deal with in this video is accountability. And here it is. And listen, it is what it is. So this is the Joint College of African American Pentecostal Bishops. This is the meeting that she was referring to that she had to go to Cleveland for, right? Cleveland, Ohio, March 14th through the 17th, that she had to go to um, Cleveland for. And this is the, these are the people that she's sitting amongst the room with. Now, in, in, in one of my videos, in the mental health one, I talk about how people who have the authority to sit them down need to sit them down. And here we have a list of the people who have authority because there was some talk that she don't have no covering, that they don't have no covering. That was some that was some discussion was going on. I don't know if she do or not, but I know she was in the room with these bishops. So there has to be a connection here. And so those people should be able to have some type of say in what's going on. And so I encourage you to pray for these bishops. Uh, Archbishop David M. Copeland is the chairman of this council. I, 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 am, I, I encourage you, I implore you, um, I compel you to pray for this leadership that they step in. You know why? Because number not, I can't even say number one because it, it ain't no one, two, three, four. It's a lot of things and they're all equally important. One of the things that's important and needs to be addressed is the mental and spiritual health <laughs> of the leaders in the good, uh, of, the, of the people of the, of, of, of um, Jamila and or however you pronounce her name and Fred Gooden and their position within the church and the fact that they are over sheep. They need to get the help that they need. Okay. The other issue, important issue is the sheep that are being led and guided and sitting up under them. They need to be tended to. They need to, they need to be tended to. They need some help because they don't know that they need help. Right. And, and, and so if there are people in position who are able to help, they need to help because, um, the leader, the, the good ends need to be sat down and then somebody needs to go in there and, 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 and minister physical, mental, emotional, spiritual healing for the wounds that would cause these sheep to sit up under that kind of leadership. There's a problem there all around, all around full circle. There's a problem, right? And so I implore you to pray for these people in leadership. 
that they would do what needs to be done and step in and intervene on the behalf of the, the, these human souls of the goodens, no matter if whether they're sinning intentionally or not, if they have mental illness, spiritual illness, uh, witchcraft on them or not, they're still humans made in the image of God and they need help, right? So we need help for them and for the sheep that are being led into a ditch, that are being led straight to hell. Amen. This is what it is. It's real talk. Okay. And so if that does not take place, we're going next. We're going, well, even before there, let me see. Because another, like I said, there was a talk about accountability. So this post was made back in February and, 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 and they're saying they have accountability. They're saying there's accountability there. And so these people um, be praying that they actually have a voice in their life and that the, and that the good ones would heed to that voice. And that these people here who they're saying they're accountable for would actually speak truth in love, rebuke them in love, get them the help that they need for their own restoration. That happened to be the, I think that was the, the name of the, conference restoration let's let's rest, let's restore them if it's possible if they're not completely reprobate because that is a that's a real possibility too right but let's do everything that we can for restoration because that's what God came for that's what Jesus came for them right all right now here's an, here's the next thing if they don't if they don't step down if they don't step down then what needs to take place is the oh, oh this is another thing she did <laughs> this is another thing she did she posted intentionally i promise you it's intentionally i i i i have contact with the spirit realm <laughs> i promise you it was intentional she posted all of her upcoming events posted all of them on on monday she was saying in your face i i said what i said and i still got a platform I said what I said, and I still got invitations. I said what I said, and I'm still in the loop. That's what she was saying. So if this council, this bishop council don't step in and do what needs to be done, then we got to go to the next step. And these people that have invited her, y'all need to uninvite her. You need to revoke your invitation, uninvite her. Because if you allow her to come in and spit and spew venom on your sheep, you will be held accountable. This is a warning. This is a warning. This is your warning. It is what it is. This is your warning. Everybody who has her on your roster, you need to revoke the invitation. You need to uninvite and you need to shepherd your sheep. You need to protect them from the venom of poison and desecration that is coming out of her mouth. And that is what it is. So Dr. T.L. Penny, I encourage you to revoke her invitation. And listen, if she don't, if Dr. T.L. Penny don't revoke the invitation, then anybody that got a ticket, you need to forfeit it. It's not, it's not worth it. You need to forfeit your ticket. Hey, ask for a refund. It's worth it. But even if you don't get a refund, you need to forfeit your ticket and you need to boycott. Don't you go sit up under that because now you are willfully, <laughs> you are willfully entangling yourself in, in this desecration. Okay. There's more. She posted them all. So we're going to go through it. Right. Let me take, can I take my, can I move this? These leaders here. Let me see if I can move my picture. All right. These are leaders in their church, ministers and ministers in training. Y'all need to pray for them. Y'all need to pray for them that they would, their spiritual eyes would be unblinded because you, you can't, for you to sit up under that type of leadership, you have to be spiritually blind. So you need to pray that they would, their eyes would be, their, their eyes would be spiritually open and that they would run <laughs> and take some sheep with them. Right. If, if, if the council don't step in and send and, and send them help, if, if the, if the good ones don't um, step down, they pray for these ministers and ministers in training that they run and they take some sheep with them 
It's that serious. This is not a joke. I promise you, I don't enjoy doing this. Okay? Because we're going to keep going. Let me put my picture back down because I want y'all to see who these people are. Okay? Pastor Bertha Benson, you need to revoke that invitation. Uninvite her. And if Pastor Bertha Benson don't revoke the invitation, y'all need to boycott. You need to you need to forfeit your 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 um your ticket and boycott the event. I'm gonna give you scripture for it. You say what you want to say about me, but I'm gonna give you scripture for it. And if you are upset about the word of God, if you're trying to contest the buck against the word of God, then you got deeper problems that ain't got that ain't that ain't I can't touch. Okay, because I got scripture for it. Trust me. Okay, it's coming, it's coming at the end. Stay for it. Okay. Next, we're gonna keep it going. These are all she posted all of these. She said, in your face, in your face, I still get events. So Quintina Walker, you need to revoke her invitation, uninvite her. And if Quintina Walker don't revoke her invitation and uninvite her, y'all need to forfeit your tickets and boycott the event. It is what it is. I'm just, listen, my job is to sound the alarm and to give you a warning. Now, what you do with it is on you. And what you do with it is on between you and God, not me. All right. It is what it is. Let's move on. She, this is all the stuff she posted. It's right there. She just put, she said, in your face, I got another one. Now this one here. Now, this one here is a little bit different. Listen up. This one here is a little bit different. Now, she's hosting this one. So, Jennifer Baird, when I seen that picture, I was like, oh, Lord. <laughs> right? Because I heard it. That's Sister Tomato. Right? I love that 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 um, video clip of her message. So, this one here is a little bit different because um, Jim, the good in is the, the host. So, Jennifer Baird, Seth, uh, Serafina Marvin, Kiki Shear, y'all already are in the room, okay? You are already in the room. So y'all be praying for them that God would word their mouths, that they would have, and I don't got, no, I don't think Jennifer Baird, Baird would have any problem. I, I pray that she don't. I pray that she don't. If, unless it's something I don't know about her. Glory to God, right? But y'all need to be praying. They're already in the room. So pray that God would word their mouths to send forth truth in love, a rebuke in love, to set things in order, to send healing to, to the flock. They're already in the room. They got a seat. Okay. So pray for them that they would step up, that they would, that they would go in there, that they would open up their mouths and that they would send forth truth and love to set some people free that are in that congregation. Amen. Amen. Let's move on because she posted them all. She said, in your face, in your face, I got more. She said, I got invitations. I'm in the, now this one is the husband. Okay. Now these people here, Samuel J. Randolph Sr. He was one of the ones in the picture that I got your back picture at the conference with the smiley face. He was one of them. And the two at the bottom, the two at the bottom, that's um listen we going there we going all in we already here okay and i promise you i i'm not smiling we got bishop list listing page the second and 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 bishop listing page that's the two on the bottom right they was in the picture too all in the picture smiley teeth okay so it's a lot going on here all right they about to install this man over some sheep so Greater Highway Church, y'all, 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 y'all be praying for Greater Highway Church because there's a, there's a, there's a, there's a yoking here. Pray that the yoking is changed or that the installation don't go forth. Or I don't know what, something, whatever God want to do, however he want to do it. God step in. Y'all need to be praying that God step in. Okay. It's, I'm talking, listen, this is real talk. This is not a game to me. The kingdom of God is not a game to me. There are precious people who, who, who need help. And, and we can't have demonic people in leadership. We can't have mentally ill people in leadership. We can't have spiritually ill people 
in leadership. We can't have people who are still under the bondage of witchcraft in leadership. We can't have that. When we have the power um, through prayer to break down and destroy some things, okay? Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Next one here we got is, I don't know who's hosting this. I couldn't come. I don't know who's hosting it. Okay. But whoever is hosting this one here, y'all need to revoke her invitation and uninvite her. And if they don't, then you need to um, um, forfeit your ticket and, 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 and boycott the event. The same, it, it is what it is. All anything that she is invited to. All right. Because if, if, if whoever the host is, is in agreement, you don't need to be there anyway. You don't need to sit up under that anyway. You need to pray for them and everybody that's going to be in attendance. Listen, if my people would humble themselves and pray and seek my face, that's what that's what we are called to do. We need to stop being Christians and, and, and start being followers of Christ. Everybody a Christian nowadays. Do what you want to do. Behave how you want to behave. Sin, sin openly. Desecrate the word of God. Desecrate that, right? No, be a follower of Christ who follows the instructions of the Bible. Read your Bible so you know what the instructions are. Hallelujah. Here's another one. Dr. Kenya Miller, you need to revoke her invitation. Uninvite her. And if Dr. Kenya Miller don't revoke the invitation and uninvite her, y'all need to forfeit your ticket and boycott the event. This is not a joke. I promise you, this is not a joke because there's going to be some severe repercussion. Okay. Now this post here, um, let me see if I can move myself. This is what it looks like on the, on my YouTube page. Okay. In this one, I gave the word for the year. Okay. I gave the word for the year for 2023. Now, 2020 for 2020, the word God gave me, you know, was that God was going to make clear 2020 vision. God is going was going to make clear that we need him. God was going to make clear our need, our need for him. And he did just that with what? With COVID. COVID hit in 2020 and made clear that we need God. 2022, the word for the year, this is that the, the 2022 was going to be the year of exposure. And what happened? Exposure. Caucasian mega churches exposed for all of the sinful desecration going on behind the scenes. Exposed. Now, that, that was the Caucasians. It's 2023. The word for 2023 that God gave me. 2023 is the year where kingdoms built unto self were going to be destroyed and dismantled. Now what we got? The African-American Bishop Council. This ain't no joke. This ain't no joke. Listen, go back and watch it. It's only 11 minutes. Watch it and hear what thus saith the Lord and take heed. Listen, I I know some of y'all is, I can feel it in the spirit. I, I'm, I, listen, I already know. Somebody is saying, let me go back. Can I go back? Because I want y'all to listen before I give you this word. Somebody is saying, who is she? <laughs> who is, who is she? And that's okay. That's a fair question. But the reality is it doesn't matter. You don't have to know my name. Okay. God knows my name. And he has chosen me because I'm a do what he said, do, and I'm a say what he said, say, right. And he, and, and, and that's just is what it is. So, so here's some scripture for it, right? Cause you don't know me and that's okay. You don't got to know me. You just, he, just he, what God is saying. Okay. And, and I have scripture for it and I have scripture for it. So here is the word people who wink Proverbs 10 and 10, the book of wisdom. Okay. Proverbs is the book of wisdom. Heed this wisdom. People who wink at wrong cause trouble, but a bold reproof promotes peace. People who wink at wrong cause trouble. If you know that cussing in a pulpit is a, is a desecration and you wink at it, you're causing trouble. 
and you keep her on your roster, you're causing trouble. Okay? You keep liking and smiley facing and hearting her, her foolishness, her 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 post as she mocks God openly, you are causing trouble. You're contributing to trouble. But guess what? A bold reproof, it promotes peace. We need peace. This is this is March madness. Oh, it's madness going on for sure. For sure. And we need peace. And the people of God are supposed to be peace bearers. The people of God are supposed to be peace bearers, not contribute to confusion and desecration and, and spiritual illness and mental illness and wickedness. God is a healer. God is a God of order. And we are to follow his word. We, it don't matter if you agree with it or not. The word is what the word is. And our job as followers of Christ is to follow the word, to do what it says do. A disciple, somebody said, uh, is a, I, I can't remember, so much going on, but I love it. A dis, matter of fact, I think it was um, Apostle Alicia Lindsay. She's in one of those videos that I did. She said, a disciple is a discipline, a disciple, a, I always knew as a follower, right? A, a student. It's a student, right? But a disciplined student, a disciplined student, a student who has self-control, a student who operates in the fruit of the spirit, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, um, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control, the fruit of the spirit. Not just out here doing what you want to do. You need to be a disciplined student of the word a disciplined follower of Christ so that you can promote peace and not contribute to confusion so that you can promote peace and not contribute to trouble. My God, I got more scripture for it. Okay. The next one, James chapter four, verse 17. Anyone then who knows the right thing to do yet fails to do it is guilty of sin. If you know it's wrong to cuss in the pulpit, to desecrate the things of God. If you know that the Bible says to, 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 to turn away from sin and to have no communion with it, no fellowship with it. And you don't do it, you are sinning. And you will be held accountable to God, not me, to God. Here's the last one. It's so many more, but I, listen, you need to study the word of God for yourself. That's what the Bible tells us to do so that you are able to rightly divide it for yourself. All you got to do, go in, punch in excommunication. It'll give you all kinds of scriptures for it. D church discipline. Okay. This is the word of God. You need to know what it says, and then you need to obey it. First Thessalonians 5, 20 through 22. Do not scorn or reject gifts of prophecy or prophecies, spoken revelations, word of instruction, exhortation, or warning. Listen, this is a warning, a prophetic warning. PC, people think, <sighs> people think that prophecy is all about, oh, you're going to get a nice car. You're going to get money. You're going to get houses. You're going to get, it's not about you getting something. Biblical prophecy is warnings. That's why people, if you, prophets in the Bible, nobody liked them. <laughs> nobody liked them. Because they gave warnings. The majority of them. There were few that had a different assignment, but the majority gave warnings. And nobody liked them. That's why, I, you know, I thank God. <laughs> God knew exactly what he was doing. He made me an introvert so that I would not care. I don't care. I prefer to be by myself. And that's the honest truth. I'm an introvert. God knew what he was doing. I, I know people are not going to like what I'm saying. And that's okay. I don't care. I prefer to be by myself. That's just is what it is. It's amazing how God did, does things. When he gives me a word, I come alive and I'm passionate and, and, and enthusiastic. And, and, and uh, I, I can be around people and talk about the word of God all day long. Right? 
But outside of the word of God, I, I prefer to be by myself. Okay. And so people, prophets in the Bible were not liked. They were in, hated, in fact. People avoided them at all costs. Now this, this simple world has turned prophets into celebrities. It's a problem. If you a prophet and you a celebrity, you ain't doing something right. I, prom I promise you. I, I, I can't say that because I don't speak in absolute. But I'll say 90%. There's a 90% chance that you're not doing what you're supposed to do. Because prophets give warning. And it grieves them. This is why I don't enjoy this. It grieves me. <laughs> this is not enjoyable. Heed the warning. Okay? Heed the, we don't have to know my name. Know the word of God. It says heed the warning. Okay? This is a warning. 21. But test all things carefully so you can recognize what is good. Hold firmly to what to that which is good. If I'm telling you the word of God is good, everything God is good, God, good, God is good, stretched out, however you want to say it. Everything God does is for your good. Okay. You might not see it. You might not see it in the beginning, but all things work together for the good of those who are called according to God's purpose. Everything that God, ha God created you um, to do great things. He loves you. He wants what's best for you. His plans are for you to prosper. So if I'm telling you the word of God, it's good. Heed it. Okay? 22, abstain from every form of evil. Withdraw and keep away from it. Stay away from, withdraw from evil. If cussing in the pulpit is evil, if this is desecration, if mocking God is evil, and it is, stay away from it. That's why I can boldly call out these people's names. That's why I can boldly call out the names of the people on that are hosting all of the events that they got her invited to. I can boldly do it because I stand firm on the word of God. That's what the word of God says. Stay away from it. Withdraw from it. Abstain. Don't do. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. Don't you subject your flock to that. Don't you subject your flock to that. Don't you do it. Heed the warning. Don't you go and sit up under that. Don't you do it. Don't you subject your heart and your soul and your mind to the venom that and, 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 and demonic behaviors and, and, and words and twisting and distorting of the, the word of God. Don't you sit yourself up under that. Don't do it. Run. Run from it. If you got to be the ginger bear man, run as fast as you can. Reshanamasi, run from it. Okay? You need to run from it. Glory to God. Hallelujah. My so listen. Let me put this back up. Okay? That's, that's what needs to be done. I'm giving you a warning. You don't have to know my name. You don't have to know my face. You don't have to know who I am. All you need to do is know God and his word. I'm reminding you of, of, of what God's word says, okay? I'm, I'm reminding you, if you didn't know, I'm telling you, I'm, I'm teaching you truth and love, okay? This is what God's word says, and you need to heed the warning and obey it. It don't matter what anybody else thinks. Because when you stand before God, it's going to be you and him face to face, toe to toe, 10 toes down. Is that what they say? You're going to be standing in front of him 10 toes down. And you're going to have to give an account for your actions. And and and, and, there, and there's no excuses. He not, he, God is not, not concerned about, about well, uh, where well, they went. Well, they still kept her on the agenda. That, that, no. You are responsible for your actions accountability this that's what this video is about accountability they need to be held accountable accountable for their for their actions by by being asked to step down okay the people in high positions need to be accountable and step in and send and send those 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 spiritually blinded sheep some help for their physically mental emotional spiritual wounds people who have her on their agenda you need to be accountable to God and revoke her invitation. 
people who have tickets or was thinking about tickets or wanted to go, you need to be accountable to God and forfeit your ticket or don't buy it. You need to be accountable to God to spread this truth into your realm of influence to the people that you love, to the people that you have influence on, to sound the alarm and send the warning that this is serious. Okay. And you can see it just, there just continues to be an escalation. This is not the final chapter. This is not the, this is not the final chapter for this situation. Okay. Hopefully the next chapter is the restoration. Hopefully it is, but if they're, but they, if their conscience is already seared, then there's nothing we can do about that. We just have to wait for the, the chips to fall where they may and pray for those that are in entangled in this devastating situation okay so pray 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 for everybody involved pray for yourself that you have boldness to stand on god's word and do what god's word tells you to do pray for yourself that you dive deeper that you draw closer to god than you ever have been before that you that you dive into his word drink his living water read read his word so that you know what the instructions are so that you can follow the instructions so that you can gain strength to do what he tells you to do. Amen. That, that, that's my prayer. That's my prayer. Listen, I, I love y'all. I promise you. I love God. And so I love you. I love God. And so I love you. I don't have to know your name. I love you. You are God's creation and your list. God, you, you didn't come across this video for, without in, God is intentional in everything that he allows to happen. OK, so if you're listening to this, God placed this in, in, in front of you to hear. OK. So heed the warning. And I love you. God loves you more. Amen. Make sure you make sure you subscribe. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you share this stuff into your realm of influence. OK. And pray for me. Amen. I love you. My heart's desire is that this content was a blessing to you. If it was, please be a blessing to me. Hit that subscribe button and make sure you join our Facebook group, Woman to Woman with Lady Aisha Fisher. Love you.